Today on Golf Life, we learn about the golf life of top golf teacher Brady Riggs, and later we learn three great drills with top golf teacher Devin Bonebreak. Plus, we catch up with the Recreational Golf Vehicle Tour. We'll tour the headquarters of Fat Golf Scooters and learn how a USDA rule change may help you play more consistently. Let's get started in Phoenix, Arizona, where your host, Colton Little, caught up with Instagram golf sensation, the Butsy, for a round of golf at Talking Stick Resort. We're clear, clear for lift golf. So we got the butts, mm -hmm. Butsy. Butsy, the Butsy. The Butsy. Yeah, that's kind of what well, it's turned into. What's going on with that? So um, my best friend, Al, he's been calling me that for years. And uh, to be honest with you, it's, it's, it's not complicated. It really has to do mainly with the size of my actual butt cheeks. <laughs> Like honestly, so you know. The size of your butt cheeks, like, huh? Calling somebody busty, right? Okay. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, you know that girl's busty, yeah. like butsy, right? Because he got big old cheeks. Yeah. Right? Well, that's kind of what it stems from, really. It's not, it's not too complex. A lot of people ask about it, but yeah, man, that's yeah. pretty much so, it. You know. So um, that's what that's what your friends, that's what people on obviously social media are calling you. And now random people like in the store, uh -huh. you know, uh, people that see me out public, probably one of the weirdest things that I've ever experienced uh, to date. It's actually uh, called Butsy from across the grocery store a couple months back buying bacon, wearing sweatpants at uh, 10 o'clock at night. It, it didn't quite resonate with me. I was like, what the? Oh my God, yeah, that the guy's was, actually talking the to me. Was talking to me. And now it's like every day I run into somebody. It's really weird. It's the most strange things ever happened to me, to be honest with you, so. You got a, a club head cover of your face? Oh my God. Well, it kind of looks like Sean White a little bit. <laughs> It's supposed to be a me. Is that you? Yeah. Oh, my bad, dude. <laughs> All right. Woo. What club is that for you? Got a pitching wedge for one. OK. All right. What do you think? I was talking about not playing from the back tee. Yeah, you got a pitching head. wedge. Oh, my god. 160-yard pitching wedge. Right there. Right there. Yeah. Oh, be a Christian. Dude. That'll work. Golf shot. Tell me how you got started. Social media, the whole thing. Uh, honestly, I, I got a. I gotta thank Kyle over at Carp Barn, guys. Um, I started hanging out there at Papago Golf Course probably three or four years ago. I lived down there and would just go hang out there on the weekends and had these guys rolling, laughing. And uh, he had started a page about four years ago and was just like, dude, I walked up one day and he had a microphone. He's like, do me a favor, put this microphone on and walk over there and just talk, just hit chips and talk. And I'm like, I'm not doing it, man. So then it turned into every day for like two weeks, he's dangling the microphone, you know? Yeah. I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not doing it, man. So finally we did it, and uh, Lessons with Butsy was born, and he put it on his page, and it's up on YouTube, and you know, the rest is history. That's where we're at today. This whole social media thing with golf, I mean, it's it's fresh for them, you know? It's like snipe marketing, it's it's cheap for them, they give you all kinds of product, and it's a good way to reach out to a lot of people without spending half a million dollars, right? So, right. I mean, I've been lucky enough to work with companies like Nike, you know, don't exactly have the physique of Rory McIlroy, as you can see, but uh, Shrick's on golf, Peretti putters, I mean, TaylorMade, it, it got a whole free set of stuff, you mm -hmm. know, just for being on Instagram and talking about this stuff. and. I felt guilty at first, but if you think about it, it makes sense, you know? You got a guy like Rory McIlroy, we could pay $500,000 putting a blade collar and right. water deplete him for two months until he's ripped like Jesus. And, <laughs> oh, there's a bee right there. Get out of my way, I'm allergic. Somebody got an EpiPen. If you don't have a personality, then you're just another dude right. on social media. And frankly, if I offend you, I mean, you don't gotta watch it. So I'm sure uh, trolls don't pay $10,000 for a booth at the PGA show and have Butsy up on uh, a billboard in the middle of the PGA show. What do you got about an electric sunglass? Electric, uh, they reached out to me. We hung out, we kind of had a little uh, honeymoon period, got to know their owners, and we all think alike. We're just dudes that you know live life, want to have a good time. They had some faith in me. I uh, met them at the PGA merchandise show in Vegas, and uh, the owner, Eric Crane, asked me my opinion on what they need to do to get into golf. And I said, you need to create something iconic. So six months later, I'm in California doing a photo shoot. And uh, the photo you're talking about mm -hmm. at the uh, 
PGA shell was actually an almost exact replication of Jack Nicklaus from, uh, I think it was like 1967 or something like that. After he won the Masters, he's wearing the green jacket, but we basically replicated that. Um, I showed up in, in uh, Orlando, and there's a life-size uh, portrait of me with other photos in their booth. They got faith in me. They think I'm a cool dude. They're cool dudes. Hopefully, we continue to work together. Well, Bud C, appreciate uh, you let us come out here to Talking Stick. Oh, absolutely, man. Shoot it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Putt, mm -hmm. miss a few putts, but... Uh, yeah, you know, make a couple doubles. Yeah. We have fun, though. We had, we we had, had a great fun. time. Absolutely. Appreciate so, it. Good to meet you, brother. Good to meet absolutely. you. Good luck with everything. All right. Let's go play a few more holes. Let's do it. Enjoy golf life? Get access to our massive library of golf videos with lessons, drills, gear reviews, golf course and resort features, and inside stories from the professional tours. Head to club.golflife.com and gain access. Plus, by joining, you can download our app on Roku, Fire Stick, Apple TV, Xbox, or on your mobile device. Enjoy hundreds of hours of golf videos at club.golflife.com. Do you want to learn to read greens and understand break more naturally? Get your hands on Levelhead. It's a simple bubble level and ball marker. To use Levelhead, you simply place it on the green. If the bubble goes to the left or the right, you're on a side slope and have a breaking putt. Line up the notches on the Levelhead toward the hole. Then use a line on your golf ball to line up the bubble. You'll be able to read the break Visualize the line and focus on the speed of your putts. Levelhead also helps practice reading uphill and downhill putts. Once you know the line, you will be much more confident and improve at reading greens. Levelhead is lightweight, fits in your bag, and can be used as a ball marker during practice rounds. To get Levelhead now, head over to iron-ladgolf.com. Buy two Levelheads and get one free. Get yours at iron-ladgolf.com. We catch up with Hanma golf staff member and top golf teacher Brady Riggs when Golf Life returns. One moment changes everything. Distance, precision, decided in a microsecond. So reduce your ball spin and get the most performance at impact with four yards more. A next-gen golf tee proven by pros and players like you. The unique durable design flexes at contact, reducing ball spin, giving you tighter control and more distance. So change your game and get four yards more. Brought to you by Greenkeepers. Golf smart. Hello, I'm Bernie Fay, here to tell you about a wonderful new golf product. It's a device for the most important stretch in golf. Do you want much better golf warm-ups, less fatigue and injuries, better shoulder turn and extension? How about more range of motion for more club head speed? Well, if you do, then listen. The best-selling, most innovative golf products ever made got there from the testimonials of others. Go to feelthestretch.com now and believe what others have to say. Welcome back to Golf Life, your golf lifestyle show. Golf Life is sponsored in part by Fat Scooters. Join the single rider golf revolution and ride the course in a whole new way. Visit FatGolfScooters.com. And by Four Yards More, a unique golf tee that reduces spin and gives you more distance. Get Four Yards More golf tees at FourYardsMore.com. Golf Life has known our next guest, Brady Riggs, for decades as one of the top teachers to bring great lessons to our show. We recently had the chance to catch up with him near his home in Los Angeles, California, to learn more about his golf life. I love all athletics and sports, so coaching soccer is something that I absolutely love doing. My daughter was four years old. I started coaching her AYSO soccer team, and I haven't stopped since. I love the game. There are tons of similarities to striking a soccer ball and hitting a golf ball. You know, uh, they're both dynamic motions that require your entire body to move. Uh, we load the same way, we drive into the, to the front leg the same way, we rotate very similarly. So from an athletic standpoint, they're very similar. When I first started out playing, golf was easy. You know, I was a kid and I was just hitting the ball at the target and I was an athlete, so it came pretty easy to me. And as time wore on and I got to play college golf and I was a pretty strong player, I stopped getting better and it seemed like a natural progression for me to teach the game, which I still love doing to this day. It goes back to when I started learning the game. We were playing with blades and we were playing with beautiful persimmon woods and there was something magical about looking at the club head, you know? I mean, it just need to look a certain way. It had a certain class to it. And over time, that sort of went away. 
And the great thing about Hanma's equipment is that it brings that back. When you look down at the club head, it looks so good. It looks like it's supposed to look. You know, it suits the eye so well. And it's made by people that are absolute experts in their field. The way to look at Hanma equipment is that this is not your cookie cutter golf club. And they take great pride in making fantastic equipment. And they do things differently. You know, I was reading a little bit about the manufacturing process. And they do little things that I find to be very important, like the water they use to work with the irons that becomes a little dirty. They clean it again and they decontaminate it so that fish can live in it. And as somebody that cares about the environment, that's a little thing that matters to me, but it shows you the level of dedication and attention to detail that you get when you're talking about Honda equipment. I'm really happy where I am in my life right now. Uh, life is very busy for me, coaching soccer and being a professional golf coach uh, requires me to be very organized with my time, but I really try to stay in the moment and be focused on what I'm doing. I want to be an expert in everything that I do, um, so it's really important to me that my golf clubs are made by experts as well, and I feel like Hanma is perfectly suited to my lifestyle. Uh, it's a classic club. It provides great feel for me as a player, and it's exactly what I want from my equipment. Recently, at Goat Hill Park in Oceanside, California, Golf Life ran into a golfer who took the term recreational vehicle, literally, and created a tour in his own RGV. Let's meet Patrick Koenig. My name is Patrick Koenig. I'm from Seattle. I purchased a recreational vehicle and turned it into a recreational golf vehicle, and I established something called the RGV Tour. And I am driving across the country playing golf. I'm inviting anybody to come out here and play golf with me. And the best part is I'm raising money for the first tee. So that's what I'm that's what I'm doing. I'm just driving across the country playing golf. Over time I'd realized golf had given me a lot of these assets and these abilities and it made me a better person. And that's exactly what the first tee does. Where they help kids make better decisions younger in life through the game of golf. And so what better way to, to give to an organization that gives something that I love so much. And over the years I realized it gave me so much that I didn't even realize it. And once I did, this became the perfect opportunity. I get to play a lot of golf and the kids get a, increased resources and facilities, things to, to make that program work. I started in Seattle, we kicked it off at the fantastic Chambers Bay. And that was a blast. Went down to Bandon Dunes and then we went down through the Bay Area in San Francisco, visited some of my old friends and some great golf courses out, out there and moved down into the LA area. And here we are in, in San Diego playing Goat Hill. Well, I have a website, it's pjkoenig.com, P-J-K-O-E-N-I-G.com. And folks can go there, it's got all the RGV tour tracks, where I've been, where I'm going. Most importantly, uh, a donation page. All those proceeds go directly to the First Tee of Greater Seattle and I'm, I'm happy to take any sort of stop request as well. You'll find that on there. So if you want to be a part of it, fill out a stop request and I'll do my best to come out and we'll, we'll play some golf. Now here's your host, Mike Billingsley, with some golf fitness advice. Hey, we're continuing with great products we found online we find to be very interesting for your game. Here's one that many of the golf media are endorsing. We think it's great too. You've got a resistance band here. You've got this rod, basically, to start the stretch, it's called the most important stretch in golf. The product is called MISIG, and you can see that it's given me a great stretch. Feelthestretch.com is where you can find it out. Also, you can work on the angle of your swing. Colton Little tried it out for us. Let's see what he thought about it. It keeps me connected with my swing. So when I get in my stance and I bring my hands not all the way through my backswing, but you know, just up to the point where my hands are going to separate. It puts me in that good position to where I'll have a good backswing and I'll have a good follow through. What I see from the Mystic is it can help in two ways. One, it can help with your swing. It can allow you to get more rotation in your backswing, get more flexibility. The other is I could take this to the range and, and get a good fitness workout with it. There's a couple of different workouts that you can do to strengthen your swing, to get more distance with your swing, and to get more rotation. The most important stretch in golf is the golf fitness tool used by Fit Golf Girl. Missig is available to help your swing now at feelthestretch.com. Use the code FEEL to get $15 off and free shipping. Visit feelthestretch.com and find out how the most important stretch in golf will stretch your back and get your swing more on plane. Available now at feelthestretch.com. 
When we return to Golf Life, we head back to Phoenix, Arizona for a tour of Fat Golf Scooters. Stay tuned. Here's a great golf solution called Grip Drive. It's simple and easy to use, saving you money and keeping your grips in great condition. Grip Drive simply snaps on the shaft of your putter or wedges. For chip shots into the green, snap it on your putter to keep that grip dry. And if you're carrying a couple wedges, simply stack your clubs on Grip Drive. Once you're on the green, just snap Grip Drive on the shaft of your wedges to protect your grips. Grip Drive fits in your back pocket for easy access or use our powerful magnet to snap onto your golf cart so it's easy to take to the green. Grip Drive provides a convenient ball marker that is always with you. When your grips are dry and in great shape, you will simply play better. Order your Grip Drive right now at gripdry.com. Enter the code GOLFLIFE and save 20% on your order. Head to gripdry.com and use the code GOLFLIFE. Grip Drive, snap it on your shaft. Sit tight, you're on the lesson tee with Golf Life when we return. Welcome back to Golf Life, sponsored in part by Hanma Golf, mastering the craft of club making since 1959. Are you in pursuit of unparalleled craftsmanship? Find it at hanmagolf.com and by Levelhead, the ball marker that reads the greens. Enter code Golf Life to save 20% at iron ladgolf.com. Golf Life wanted to take you inside one of the coolest new companies in the game, Fat Scooters. Here's your host, Colton Little. Peter, what's going on? How you doing, buddy? Good, good, good. Thanks for having us at Fat Scooter Absolutely. HQ. Welcome here. I'm glad to have you. Yeah, we're going to dive in, show everybody how these beautiful scooters are made from start to finish. Love it. Well, come on in. Let's get to let's, it. Let's cross our putting green here. The first thing that I want to talk about right, is this putting green. I don't know if I'd get work done. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'd be out here in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona. I wouldn't get I wouldn't get any work done. I know I keep the balls and clubs locked away for the guys. We like to uh, project a lot of fun at this company because that's what the scooters are all about. Good, yeah, love it, love it. All right, so now we're uh, we're gonna head inside. We're gonna learn the ins and outs of it. But we walk in and we see a showroom right scooters, here. Scooters, yeah, here they we've are. Got a showroom here, and then on the next side we're gonna be building that out. We're gonna be putting in a golf simulator. We really just want to uh, have a lot of fun and show people what the scooters are about. Yeah. And that's fun. I, I know you got some stuff in the back that from the ground up. Yeah, right? let's come into the warehouse. I can smell it, right? This is where the magic happens. This is, this is the magic house. Uh, this is where we store the scooters, we build them, we customize them, and we create your uh, your ride. Like it was from the ground up, we got the we got the frames over here that come to the production line and we get it going. Yep, as you can see, like right here, we've got one that's stripped down. We're ready to put a uh, custom deck on it for somebody. It's actually for a business, a fitness business. So we do a lot of corporate branding, which is a big part of our business. They like it, it draws attention and uh, we've got a big piece of real estate that we can put your brand yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. So I just send you the image. You guys can can blow it up and, and throw it on the scooter. Yep, we've got our custom. We've got our in-house design team. So you send us your your logo or an image, and we'll uh, we'll do it. We'll put it together. Are they putting one together back here? Yeah, let's go see. So the electric scooter has a lot of electrical in it, right? Um, talk about how you guys service them here in the USA. Yeah, we knew that the service part of this is really important. So we have everything in house. We stock all the parts, but we know the electrical system uh, inside and out. So anything goes wrong, uh, we're able to diagnose over the phone, send out a replacement mm. part. A lot of this stuff is plug and play, but uh, any other issues that go on, we have service people nationwide. They can go out and service these things for you at, at the course. Um, but it, it, we tried to keep a really simple uh, structure around it that was gonna be operationally sound and, and last. A lot of people like to customize the fenders, um, especially like on motorcycles or things like that. So, you know, you're going to pick out your frame color. You pick your fender color. They come down here, and this is our fender room. So you can see we've got seven stock colors fenders. We've got two blues, two reds. We've got gunmetal gray, white, and black. Those are kind of your stock choices. And then we've got our Kona Brewing fenders up there, which you know, Kona buys, and we do a text to win contest. So that's another corporate branding deal. So we've, we keep those in stock for them. That's awesome. Well, Peter, we appreciate you let us come by the HQ. Absolutely. The newly, newly HQ. This place is going to be amazing here in, a, in months. We'll have you guys in back. Months. Uh, from start to finish, we appreciate you, you showing us the, uh, the headquarters. I appreciate it. Thanks, All guys. Right. As golf evolves, the rules in our game change from time to time. 
Recently, the USDA made a rule change that didn't get much attention. The rule related to trampoline effect, or the time the ball is on the face of a golf club. The rule change allows club makers to create a hotter face on the toe and heel of a club. It's now possible to make metal woods that perform better on off-center hits. The USGA's goal is to potentially help amateurs gain consistency. Golf Life wondered how club makers have reacted. One innovative company called Knuth Golf, whose founder ironically retired from the USDA, was able to invent the first metal wood club face to conforming to the USDA rule. Their High Heat 257 Plus design is much hotter on the toe and heel. We haven't had a single golfer that hits it on the center every time. They all hit it in other parts of the face. And when people hit it all over the face, they just are amazed because they think they hit it on the center of the face. But when they look on the face after hitting it, they didn't. It's somewhere else. It could be on the, all the way on the toe or on the heel. We asked people at a recent demo day their thoughts after using the High Heat 257 Plus. It's like you played baseball with a wooden bat and hit a home run. You almost didn't feel it. You can hit it almost anywhere on the club face. That ball just jumped off the face like nothing else I've hit. I have been playing with the High Heat and I absolutely love them. But today, if I hit it at the toe or at the heel, guess what? It goes the same distance, so I'm sold. It's fantastic. The off misses that I've had with this club so far have been just phenomenal. Heck, I just proved it right here on the driving range. Get it, get it, and there you go. Knuth Golf welcomes any golfer interested in how the USDA rule change might help their game. Visit them at highheatgolf.com to learn more about High Heat 257 Plus. We show you three great drills to help you putt better when Golf Life returns. One moment changes everything. Distance, precision, decided in a microsecond. So reduce your ball spin and get the most performance at impact with four yards more. A next-gen golf tee proven by pros and players like you. The unique durable design flexes at contact, reducing ball spin, giving you tighter control and more distance. So change your game and get four yards more. Brought to you by Greenkeepers. Golf smart. Welcome back to Golf Life, sponsored in part by High Heat 257 Plus, the hottest metal woods across the face in golf. Try High Heat risk-free and gain distance guaranteed at highheatgolf.com. And by Grip Dry. Get a simple and effective solution to keep your grips clean and in great shape this season. Visit gripdry.com. Here's top teacher Devin Bonebreak with some drills to improve your putting. Today I'm gonna to talk about short game specifically lag putting in an awesome game that's really fun for juniors, which is called leave it in the attic drill. You can see I created an attic of golf clubs around the hole, denoting the area where I want to leave the putt. So I'm going to start off here with this 10-footer, and my goal is to make the putt, or if I don't make it, to leave it in the attic. So I missed the putt, but you can see that it's right in between the clubs and the hole, so I had good distance control. And knowing this is then enabling me to move back to 15 feet. As I make this putt, I'll move back to 20 and then 25. However, if I miss, I hit one too far, I'm going to have to start over. So that would have been too long, would have left me with a long putt for coming back, and probably a three putt. So this is a great game for juniors, an excellent game to have a risk reward, and also to make sure that they understand that speed is by far the most important thing to making putts. We're going to talk about chipping, specifically an awesome game for juniors called the ladder drill. Super important that we're able to hit the area that we see. That way we can be good at chipping on any golf course, no matter how firm they are or how fast they are. I'm going to start off here trying to hit this first spot, which is between the two golf clubs. If I land it there, then I can work my way up to the next spot, up the ladder, and then back down the ladder. You can see the ball landed right between the first two clubs. I can then move to the next step. After I climb up the ladder, I got to climb back down. If I miss one of the spots, I then have to start over. This creates a little pressure, the feeling that I'm going to have on the golf course, and really makes it a fun game for juniors to play with each other. So the ladder drill, excellent for chipping, great for juniors. Perfect your chipping and get up and down a lot more often. So I want to say thank you to Goat Hill Park. They do an excellent job here with juniors. And on that note of juniors, here's a terrific game for working on those short putts that are paramount to shooting those lower scores. This is called the spiral putting drill. How it works is I set balls down from four, five, six, seven, and eight feet in a spiral. So no one putt is the same, just like you're going to see on the golf course. How it works is you're going to have to start with the four footer, move all the way to the eight footer. That's five total putts play five holes, you want to see how many you can make out of 25. You want to set a goal for yourself. If you reach the goal, you can move on. If you don't, you have to do it again. So let me start off here with this four footer. Try to go almost through your normal routine like you're about to hit a putt on the golf course. The more that you resemble 
the routine of when you play, the more likely it's gonna be there for you on the course. So I made my four footer, I would then move on to the five, six, seven, and eight, count out the total, add them all the way up, and then at that point, I'm gonna know how good my short putting is. So again, spiral putting drill, terrific game for juniors, super fun. Five putts, five holes, from four, five, six, seven, and eight feet. No one putt is gonna be the same. Switch holes every single time. If you wanna contact me, visit me at southerncalgolfacademy.com. Thanks for tuning in. And now, here's Dean Reinmuth with a great golf tip using the Black Magic Hybrid Wedge. Hi, I'm Dean Reinmuth. I'm here at the Crosby National Golf Club in Rancho Santa Fe, California. And I'm in a bunker here, good distance from the flag. Now, normally, this is a pretty tough shot. For good players and for amateurs, it's really tough. But I've been using this Black Magic Wedge, and with the face forward design, um, it seems to go through the sand really easily and comes out. It doesn't bounce, which I wouldn't have expected. I would have expected a little bit more bounce because of the wide sole, but it actually goes through the sand quite easily. And I find that, you know, you might try this because uh, given that it's a tough shot, anything we can use that makes it easier could be really helpful. I just set up to it like a normal swing. And it comes out easy. Just like that. Try it. You'll like it. Thanks for watching Golf Life. Visit us at golflife.com where you can join Club Golf Life and enjoy tons of videos on any device. Plus, find Golf Life on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter for daily golf videos and reviews. Thanks for watching Golf Life and following us at golflife.com. I'm Kate Collins. Look for Golf Life next week on this channel.